Well, clearly, running over <laughs> walnuts does break them down. So I've come up today, this is one of my chores today, and I'm beginning to collect all the walnuts that we are beginning to see. Guys, the acorns, the walnuts, the persimmons are just packed full. Winter is coming. It's still here. Uh-huh. So we got up this morning at all the milking and barn chores and whatnot. We moved into phase two where I'm weed eating and pulling in things to, so I can start getting ready to put my fall stuff out and all that. There's all these walnuts everywhere. And I looked over and looky here, child, do you see that beauty? It's like summertime is giving me its final little kiss. Looky there. I've got boo-boos. Looky there. Let's savor this moment together. How about it? You want to do it? Don't be jealous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're getting everything ready for fall. In fact, we're right now also building a milk stanchion. It's actually turned into a huge cow she shed. We've been working on it. That's what Labor Day is for, people. We ain't on the lake or flying around in little sewing machines. <laughs> sewing machines might be spying on us anyway. But uh, we are working, working, working. And remembering what our grandmothers did and why you're here. And this is a special message today for you. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I have done very little research about this. I, myself, have not gotten this notification um, on any social media platforms, but I've seen people sharing it or taking screenshots or uh, people are sending it to me galore. I don't know what's real or not. I, I find it believable, but let's just talk it out anyway, dear, uh, because really you need to be reminded of who you are, where you come from, what's important, and that you are not crazy. And that is the tactic that a lot of people are using right now. Here's the thing, here's what I wanna remind you of. You know, all of these things that you're seeing as far as, you know, uh, um, mind manipulations, or the these ideas that we see spread all over, uh, maybe I'm being monitored. Maybe that's what's going on right now. We're going to keep talking. Hey, hey, hey. Because here's the deal, folks. We live in a time and a place where you're just going to have to make a decision to say, pardon my French, pardon my French children. You're just going to have to say to hell with it because there is so much mind control going on right now and so much division and it's coming from a very small place and it's manipulating the minds in the bigger place and that is a problem. So here is the here is the theme. You know, it's like you're writing this big paper and you have to write your 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 your, your outline. Here's what we're going with. Your grandmothers were preppers. Period. Now, with that notion, I'm going to get the one person to say, mine wasn't. Well, you're, you're one in about 150 million, okay? Because the bottom line is, and what I mean by that is, your grandmothers, your great-grandmothers, and on backwards were people that lived through times that you, me, and probably most people that are living today have zero understanding of what that life was like. So in order for them to sustain and the fact that they made it at least to a point to bring in the next generation that brought in then the next generation all the way to the lead up to this moment where you're listening and I'm talking to you, the fact is these people knew how to survive, okay? And I'm telling you right now, it wasn't by watching um, television and it wasn't by sitting around eating ramen noodles or playing games or arguing with people on Facebook. These people had bona fide skills. They had bona fide skill sets 
and they knew how to work together with family, community, and close friends, and church, their church, their community, their fellowship. They knew how to do all of these things and were willing to do it. They understood that they could not be divided because they understood that division equals conquer. And they also understood that every single skill set that they had was uber, uber important. So what I'm really telling you is, is I don't know. Let's, let's get this back in the background here. This is kind of, if a man comes out and wearing a kilt, you know, it's really meant to be. Whew. So what I'm telling you is, is James in his kilt? So here's what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on with all that stuff and I'm being generic. If you've paid attention over the past couple of weeks or you've seen this, then you're gonna know what I'm talking about. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, what I'm trying to tell you is, is, you know, I'm seeing all these comments and messages and posts and different things about people being grouped and people being, that's, okay. So what if they are? You gonna stop? Because let me tell you something. If you decide to can a bushel of tomatoes, do, do you really think that sounds crazy? Okay, so if you decided to plant garlic right now in fall because you want fresh garlic for next year, is that insane? If you decide to put up hay for winter because you have animals like I'm been, like we've been doing, that's planning ahead. Does that make you a cuckoo? Because the free, you know, the freezer might go out and because you know, you like to have fresh venison and fresh ground beef and, you know, different things to not go to waste. So you decide to put them in the pressure canner to put, make them, you know, stable on the shelf for 12 to 18 months or whatever you're going to do with it. Does that make you nuttier than a fruitcake? Because you were the person a year, a year and a half ago that was already living in this mindset and a lifestyle and you had already kind of thought ahead and prepared ahead and you had a good three to six months of basic supply and needs ahead of, of your life, you know, and things like that. Guess what? You weren't out amongst so many super spreaders and people fighting and clamoring to get things like toilet paper. So does that make you a nut job? Really? It's like this. You know, you always had that friend that was, either, when you were in high school or college or even when you were an adult, that tried to talk you out of doing things. Like, say you wanted to lose weight. Say you wanted to start a new business. Say you wanted to start a YouTube channel. Say you wanted to homestead. Say you wanted to do anything. And you noticed they kept talking you out of it and making you think like, you can't do it, or you're stupid to do it, or you're crazy to do it. You know what that is? That's called control. This happens all in throughout your life. You just have to recognize it when people or things try to clamor for the ultimate control of you, your life, and your mind. The more you tell me I should not, you know, can up some stewed tomatoes for winter, by God, the more I'm going to do them because I like fresh tomatoes in my pantry. I want to eat healthy. I want to have the skill to know how to not only just grow them, and we do a pretty decent job, but it's about understanding that, you know what, when winter comes, I don't have to be at the store every other day fighting for what I need. I can walk into my pantry and go, you know what, spaghetti sounds good today. I think I might try it. That's called being smart. That's called being independent. That's called being self-reliant, and that's called taking back control. And you know, we can't have that. So really, if you think about it in different ways, it's about control. It's about division. And you need to push back by that on that by saying, uh, I don't think so. Because what that makes people do is people like new, the newbie doobies that are learning to, you know, milk a goat or learning how to homestead or learning to can. I have so many new canners following me right now and they're so excited to learn a new skill. But if they get a notification that they might be a little bit wild and crazy and extreme, 
somebody might stop. And that is the last thing you want to happen. That is the last thing we need to happen. We need independent-minded people working independently, constantly being self-sufficient. And not only are you doing that, and should you be doing that, and should you be applauded to do that, like we used to applaud the victory gardens and the minds that were more independently thinking and doing, but you know what you might be doing if you're doing these things? <sighs> what if you're teaching a young person? What if you're teaching the next generation and maybe even the one under that to learn how to do something in regards of self-reliance? Letting them see that they can grow okra. Letting them see that they can grow a pumpkin and make a pumpkin pie from scratch. <gasps> what if they have chickens? <sighs> you know them crazy chicken ladies. What are we going to do about them? Think about how, how just it's a bunch of nonsense. And frankly, I hate to tell you this in this way, but it should piss you off. It should piss you off. First of all, it's no one's business if you want to grow some tomatoes and put them away. That does not make you crazy. And the fact that somebody's trying to do that to anyone is wrong. And that's what's wrong with the big picture here. Because see, if you can do it on your own, you don't need them, do you? That might be a problem. Hey, let's show everybody what we're doing. Come on, let's go show them the party. Okay, so we just got started with this. And I just flipped the camera around. What we're doing is we're building a milk stanchion on one side. So we've gotten the post in and then we were just gonna make it 12 feet, but then we decided to go ahead and make it 15. So this is as far as we got yesterday because it was getting late and it, rain was moving in. Say hello, everybody. So this is what we're working on. We've already got more stuff today to work on. So James is cutting some wood and we had to go get more cement. So, hey, tell him it's gonna be groovy, baby, groovy. Thank you, Katniss. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> So here's the bottom line. Are you gonna trust in what your grandparents taught you? Are you going to trust people that you know that are good people that are constantly wanting to just be and to be self-sufficient? Or are you gonna trust politicians that don't even know what day of the week it is and the only thing they have on their mind is telling you what to do? There it is, plain and simple. That is common sense, and you need to let that dictate your actions. Do not stop your plans. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep learning what you're learning. Keep growing like you're growing. And we're gonna preserve our way of life because that is what this country was founded on, was the ind wanting and expecting independence so that we could live and thrive. We take no less. Stay the course. Are you ready to go out and be a big goat? Enoli wants to go out with you. You ready to go be with the big girls and boys? Say yes. Say we're just about done bottle feeding. Oh, Enoli. So I'm going to conclude this video because I'm going to go find my husband so we can get busy building the rest of this stanchion and feed the animals and the next video it, next video or one following after is slated to show you how to can sausage because we like sausage and we want to keep it on the shelf and that's what our grandmothers did and that's what our great aunts did and so we want to follow in their footsteps because they were strong independent self-reliant good people that thought for themselves and we're gonna think for ourselves too. So stay tuned for that. I just put up a video this week on canning ground beef. 
and canning homemade vegetable soup. So easy. Y'all stay cool out there. It's Labor Day. It's a little warm, but winter is coming. We'll see you on the next video.